Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty, want to give you an update on uh, what we're going to see. Of course, YouTube. It's YouTube. What is today? Today is Wednesday night. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and of course, uh, ring that little bell when you do because I'm kind of YouTube heavy now. But hey, we may get a little bit of rain. We had some scattered showers and thunderstorms a little bit earlier this evening actually had one severe thunderstorm warning across bourbon and also moved into vernon county but you can see over the past uh, hour or so these storms have kind of died off and then trying to flare up a little bit again over the past uh, 30 to 45 minutes now all the big storms these have mainly been east of kansas city uh, so really from Lexington, Marshall, uh, just to the west of Columbia and down toward Jeff City. Another pretty big batch just outside on the west side of the St. Louis metro. And then kind of scattered back uh, to the southeast of Springfield near West Plains. But if we look at our general region, they are trying to flare up a little bit. One little guy on the north side of Springfield. We can look at Greenfield down toward Mount Vernon. Couple little showers between Monette in Cassville. Let's go a little bit farther toward the west. One little tiny guy trying to blow up just south of Blue Jacket north of Vanita. And then we actually do have a couple clusters of at least a few showers on the northwest side of the metro. So we're looking at Carl Junction uh, and then stretching down toward Galena. Um, another little guy out across Cherokee County. So these are pretty small little dudes. See one other little guy just to the east of Fredonia. But these are going to start to pick up a little bit as we go through the overnight hours for us tonight as we get these weak waves, which are kind of pushing through. So let's go through time. Let's see what's going to happen. We're going to stop here at about midnight. All right. So isolated to scattered thunderstorms. Isolated is a little less numerous. Scattered a little bit more numerous. These are going to shift from isolated to scattered as we go through the overnight hours, especially after midnight. And a few of these storms could be a little bit stronger. Here's 3 o'clock in the morning flaring up in our northern counties and then pushing off toward the south and to the east. So I'm hoping the metro gets some rain because I, at my house, uh, I have a web city address. I could, I, I, I really live in Orinoga. I can throw a rock and hit the Orinoga water tower, but for some reason I have a web city address. I don't think I've had more than maybe a hundredth of an inch of rain in about six weeks i know some areas have so i need some rain bad but scattered thunderstorms here's 5 30 in the morning pushing south and east here's 8 30 in the morning and i think after 8 or 9 a.m most of these will clear out and then partly sunny skies as we go into the afternoon all right so let's look at your day planner morning thunderstorms do you need some elijah no, I'm good. 91 by noon high temp and 96 during the afternoon southerly winds at about 5 to 10. Tomorrow night looks fine. Mostly clear. We'll drop back to about 73. And then I think we'll go into the upper 90s by the time we head into Friday afternoon. There is a very slight chance we could get an isolated thunderstorm. I, I, as of right now, I'm going to keep dry. All right. Best chances for rain tonight. If you look at my graph, um, I just found this graphic. I don't even remember when I built it, but you can see our chances really going up after one, two o'clock in the morning. I think our best chance is kind of in that 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. stretch, and then it starts to trail off 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Rainfall amounts are difficult because these are scattered. This isn't a wall of rain or a line of storms. On the Missouri side, you have the better shot to get a quarter, maybe a half an inch of rain. Kansas and Oklahoma, it's going to be less tenth maybe a quarter of an inch uh probably a quarter to a half an inch once you get down into northwestern parts of arkansas all right let's go down the road let's move into the weekend really heating up upper 90s to near 100 we're just going to kind of hang out there as we go saturday and sunday i'm going to go high temp and 99 each day uh there are a few isolated thunderstorms but i'm going to keep it dry as uh, the chances are just pretty slim so near 100 on sunday we do get a front in here on Monday, so this could give us a few scattered showers and thunderstorms late Monday into Tuesday and kind of keep us in the mid-90s. And then I think that temperature slowly going to ramp back upward the second half of next week. But uh, it's hot, upper 90s to near 100 every day. Morning thunderstorms tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday dry. Isolated to scattered thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday and then drying out and heating up again. 
as we go into the second half of next week. Remember, the heady pattern uh, is uh, forming right now, so we I really want to see some changes by mid-August. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And today was day number 18 that we hit 100 degrees, which is kind of crazy and something we don't want to do. All right, guys, have a great evening. Great night, I guess. And a pretty good Thursday.